morning guys it's a whole new day so we vlogged yesterday morning and then yesterday got crazy we ended up having to uh do more than we actually had planned and so it kind of threw us off and we were kind of in a frenzy for a while and just didn't have time or wasn't even thinking about pulling the camera out so our apologies on that however today's a new day um we're headed to work and school so living in georgia you can literally um feel all parts of weather right i mean georgia can get as cold as in some parts of georgia down the into the teens um and then in the summer we can be up in almost 100 sometimes at 100 degrees in the summer so sometimes you can feel all types of weather in the same day in the same day oh my god we've had there was one time i'll never forget it when i first moved here there was a tornado the next day it snowed um we can go from tornado to sunshine to snow to hail we've had i've i've been lord jesus it just it's always or something. some days the lows the low can be 35 and the high can be 80. and yes. it's like and you, it's like we, it's crazy doing? which is why georgia was like leading in um flu in the flu so there's that but what i was saying before i saw the weather is um we're out of bowls at center stage for oatmeal so Cuddy ran in and grabbed some real quick um carson is currently drinking his special drink so you know you all know we talked about carson um pretty much we know that he um has adhd um and so the naturopathic doctor that we um see um has given us um some remedies to help with it so this is a special drink that he drinks usually at night but i'm giving it to him in the morning to see how he responds to it um so carson drink take one big gulp big gulp don't play with me carson be trying to fake me out okay good another big gulp just keep drinking <laughs> There's mommy's dick boy right there. He's so sweet. Me? No, the little boy behind you. Anyway, y'all, let me take these little nasty braids out my head. y'all we are not recording at the end of the night we're doing better we Why are getting in the car both of the boys got ease today at school so typically we usually go get them a treat we're gonna see how that goes like we said we're trying to build into the schedule of them getting 15 minutes of play time today at the park um every day um during the week anyway so they can play off the energy you want to vlog? Hi. So we're about to go. Wait, where are we? What are we about to do? We're going home. What do we normally do when you get ease? We go do. We what? go get ice cream, or like popsicle, maybe like a tree, just like a tree. Everyone, and Carson, say hi. Hi. I got a monkey. It's a pink monkey. Yeah. Here you go. Back to you. That that um, other magnet. All right, y'all, so uh, we're headed to get the boys a quick treat. I don't want to get them something too sugary, so I'm trying to think of where I want to take them first. Yeah, because I already had in mind where we were going, so that's why I went this way. Because um, when you usually say quick, quick treat, you usually go to the same spot. But they have other stuff other than that so but it's still sugar <laughs> yeah. okay hey fams i want you to like and subscribe like and subscribe 
Yeah. Know the five Can please. I talk to you again? Can I hug? And share with your friends. Hug? You know hug. Where, right? hug. Alright guys. Where are we? We're at the guys my premiere for my video on my other channel is about to start but i want my i need to have a moment with y'all in just a little bit all right y'all so my premiere just happened on my other channel um and um right now i'm just in a i'm not in a good headspace at all so i'm actually really frustrated right now because um First of all, Cody and I have this thing that we've been working on um, where we don't have or make plans for the day without discussing it with each other because we both will have a day planned out in our head and not talk to each other about it. And then we get irritated with each other when the day doesn't go how we planned it because we didn't discuss it. So long story short, um, this morning, some most of the mornings, Cody will create a to-do list in our notes on our phone and he'll share it with me and then I'll add to it um, or, you know, take away or whatever. And this morning I created the list and um, one of the things that I had planned in my mind, um, I didn't say it. I, I may have put it on the list today. I can't remember, but I wanted to decorate for Christmas and I had already wanted to do that. Um, I had already wanted to do that. Um, on November 1st, but we couldn't because of other things that was going on. So my plan was to already have the tree up, to already have our decorations up. So I'm aggravated that we're behind schedule on that because Christmas is my, is my favorite holiday. And I love just go ahead and then go ahead and just already having um, the decorations up and just kind of getting that vibe. Like I hate when the Christmas season is over because it just, it comes and goes so quick. So I try to make it last as long as possible. Anyway, um, we did not post the video on my other channel like I normally do because we had a crazy weekend and we had like two or three unexpected things come up. And so we were not on schedule. And then Cody had to edit a, a video for a project that he normally wouldn't have to edit for. So that threw his editing schedule off. So he was so stressed out this weekend and editing a lot and in front of the computer 
it was just a lot going on. So I was just like, babe, let's just push my video back to tomorrow and you can just edit it tomorrow and it should be, you know, fairly simple. It's not like a super difficult video and um, you can edit it and then we can just post it tomorrow. Like I, I have a schedule, a posting schedule that I don't necessarily announce to my subscribers, but I have one that Cody and I try to keep up with. And so I'm willing to bend it if it means he gets a day to just relax or he doesn't have to edit three videos on one day. So I told him not to worry about it. And so today, Cody's just been moving really, really slow. Um, I don't think he took um, his medicine today. He tries not to take it every day because he doesn't want to become dependent upon it. And I can respect that. Um, but, you know, yesterday for us was a rough day. We we had a lot of um, some tragic stuff happen with a close friend of us, ours. And then um, we ended up having to do um, take responsibility for some stuff. Um, and it just our day, our day was just longer than planned. And we didn't get into bed till super late last night. And so then we had to wake up for our work day. We were tired. And Cody, um, I don't know what happened, what his plan was, but he ended up being in front of the computer for four hours editing this video. He was saying he wasn't feeling that great and that he just couldn't focus. And I just... We didn't get to do anything. We didn't get to to decorate. Um, Cody said he wanted to start giving the boys a bath at 8 and then having them to bed at 8.30. So I honored that. I just went ahead and gave him a bath. He was in here still editing. And I'm not going to lie, I was irritated because I'm just like, I just feel like we never get to do the things that we want to do spend the time that we want to spend. I mean, the goal, what the new goal we created was to at least try to get the boys to the park for 15 minutes a day just so they can play and run out that energy. But sometimes we don't even get to do that because it's just always something. And I'm like, Lord, I know that we are taking the steps to, you know, put systems in place like I was talking about on our Transparent Couch video. But it's still frustrating trying to to execute everything. And honestly, like my love language, my love language is quality time. And I just want to spend time with my family and time that not where I'm irritated and irritable and fussing and yelling at the kids and, you know, irritable with Cody. Like nobody wants to spend family time like that. But I feel like I get like that because which is it's always in. You know, and I need quality time to feel loved. I need quality time, just like I need my personal space and my me time. And I just feel like we're not getting that. And I feel like I keep voicing that, but like nothing is changing. So I'm just keeping it real on here with y'all. I don't know if Cody's going to cut this out the video or not, but I'm just keeping it real with y'all because we said that on this channel that we would be transparent and that we'd be real with y'all. And like I said before, you know, when I was watching vlogs, I was looking for this type of content to make me something I could relate to because I can't relate to people getting up every day and going shopping and spending money and, you know, going to get their nails and hair done every day and putting on makeup. I can't relate to that. I need to, I need a channel where I can watch somebody who's going through and how they're persevering through it and just being honest and raw about what's going on. Our life is not perfect and, and we never want to portray that. We want to portray a real family who goes through um, a Christian family who's going through life and handling business and talking about the struggles. And this is one of the struggles. I mean, I just feel like we just can't get it together. Like it's so aggravating. And y'all, my husband, Cody works so hard. Like, so a lot of times I feel like I don't even have a right to be irritated because I'm just like, he just sat here in this computer for four hours editing my video. So for me, it's like, okay, I'm frustrated that we didn't get to do anything. But then on the flip side, it's like, what other options did we have? And I think that's the part that's frustrating. It's like, 
I, I don't I don't know. It, it's just all frustrating. There's not enough time in the day. You know, it, it's just not it's not enough time in the day. It's just not. Um, so, you know, yeah, I was venting while Cody was in the shower, but he's out the shower now. I'm just irritated. I'm irritated. I'm so irritated. Like, I think we both are. And I just, the, the boys were just giving me a hard time. And I, I don't like fussing at my kids. I really don't. But one thing that comes with anxiety, I get overstimulated very easily. I get easily frazzled. And our oldest son is in this stage where he is so persistent um, and so inquisitive. And when you add those two together, it's like a combination for being annoyed. Um, he will come back. You will tell him, hold on a second. Give me a second. He will come back literally a second later and ask the same question. Um, he doesn't have the great sense of time. So if we tell him, son, give us a few minutes. We need to focus on this. He will come back. Or we'll say, hey, or we'll give very specific directions like, son, I will let you know when it's time. Mm -hmm. He doesn't give us the space to let him know. He will come back and keep asking. And then our youngest son is in the phase where he's just into everything. Like he was opening up the blinds. Why, right, sir, it's nine. Or it was at the time it was like 945. They were in bed at 830. So why are you, first of all, why are you still awake? Second Wait, of all. 10 minutes ago? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. He came in here and, and had opened the blinds. Um, it's just, it's, I can't even, I, I love my kids. I really do. But parenthood has its challenging moments. And when I get frustrated and I fuss at them, then I feel bad for fussing. I just go through this toxic cycle of, feeling like a bad mom and feeling like I'm not doing good enough. Am I not raising them well enough? Why aren't they listening to me? Um, and I'm trying some new, you know, I'm trying to be a more aware parent mm -hmm. because I know when I was growing up in the generations before us, listening to your children just wasn't a thing. Like, it wasn't a thing and it wasn't that our parents didn't care, but what they said, go. And that was it. There was no, okay, let me hear what you're trying to express. It was just, when I'm talking, you be quiet. Don't, I don't want to hear what you have to say. I said so-and-so-and-so. And, -so -and, -so. and I just don't think that's always the way. He's still awake. Okay, y'all. I'm getting ready to get myself together because if not, I'm going to be crying on camera. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in the morning. Gary walk out the house. Um, Y'all can see I got bags. My eyelids are swollen from crying all last night. So that kind of tells you the type of night we had. But it's a new morning. It's a new day. I'm going to allow Holy Spirit to just have his way in me. I'm not going to try to sit and sulk in it. I can't do that. I gotta stay positive. Even when my mind is trying to control me to be negative. So, yeah. Now all this stuff is the best thing since sliced bread. Ooh. 
Anyway, we're headed to the car. I'll see y'all in a few minutes. Morning, y'all. Today is Tuesday. Hello, everyone. It feels like a Wednesday to me. Why did the it does? Butter. Hey, y'all. CJ has a joke. Okay. I thought it was funny. Is your seatbelt on? Yeah, it's on. Yeah, in crushes. Hey, okay. y'all. CJ has a joke. Yeah, CJ has a joke. You gotta say it loud so they can hear you, though, bub. What do sea predators call people on a jet ski? Fast food. <laughs> <laughs> Edit to work, so as usual, it is raining outside, and we are, yeah, running a little late, so we're just trying to get there as fast and safe as we can. So I'm going to focus on that, and we'll see y'all. All right, y'all, so... We um, finished up the work day. The internet went out for half the day. Um, apparently, WOW is out for, it's like a global outage. Yeah. Thank God we don't have WOW at home. We have AT&T. So Cody was able to leave yes. um, and go home to work. But up um, in the building where we use for center stage. They have WOW. They have WOW. So. Oh, you know what? So. Um, the boys, both of the boys got E's today at school. E stands for excellent. So they both got excellent days at school today. So they're both getting a treat. Whoop, whoop. Good job, boys. So Can we also go to the park? It's raining, so we're not going to be able to go today. So there's your treat. They're getting a Hello Panda. These are really good, actually. That, remember that store I, I was telling y'all about with me and Anna? We got those nasty vegan popsicles. We got these from there too. And, and they're not nasty? Actually, no, they're good. <laughs> I'm gonna let you taste it. Okay. Isn't that yummy? Don't see Carson eat this. Yeah, Carson, are they yummy? Yes. Uh, sorry, but Brian don't like them. We're on our way to pick up our godson. He is spending the night with us tonight because his mom is going to like a concert huh like you didn't even try boy bite into it well then that's your treat yep he in the picky phase now so that's the treat so you can eat it well it just tastes like that that strawberry toast thing okay and i don't like that strawberry. that thing is flat i don't care nobody's shot i'm good it's good really, it's, really it's really good anna is bringing victoria over so I can do Victoria's hair. Mm -hmm. And there's that. Well, everyone, so. like I always say, I mean, not really always, but some, I'll always say this now at, at some part of videos, I'll say like and subscribe. Yeah, they need to know they need to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. We'll catch back up with y'all when we get back to the house. Yep. Peace. Okay, y'all. So we're home, and Anna's here. I'm getting ready to do Victoria's hair. Yay! All the kids are well. Carson's in a snack, and oh. Victoria and Matthew eating Zach's please. Say hi. 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 <laughs> this, these, these are Carson's best friend. <laughs> Cody's in the room with his god brother, but these are Carson's listening. I have pickle. I have pickle. Carson, you want to eat? You ate your other. What is your other thing you ate? Sausage. I ate it all. What was it? Chili dog. A what? A chili dog. A chicken stick. I took the waffle out. Oh, got your mouth open. Mouth full. And then Cody and Quentin are in here. Y'all say hey to the vlog. Oh, sup, hey. sup, V? Hey. I'm just kidding. Sup, 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 uh, FF. What? Francis here. Just say that. Hey. 
I'm they in this, this little tent thing. Look at that. Carson did all this stuff on his bed. But they have a tent. Cody has a bed tent. I pulled it to straighten it up. If it wasn't for me, it wouldn't be up here. True. But this, you've met our God. I think y'all met our God son, Quentin, before. Quentin, come from out of there so they can see. This is, this is our God, baby. This is our God son, Quentin. So, that's what's happening in the Francis household right now. So. No, he turned into a man. No, no. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So it is time for bed. The boys are in the bed, but um Victoria left probably about an hour ago. Um me and Anna are friends, so we kinda like take time talking and doing stuff anyway. So we got her hair done. It's super cute. I should have showed y'all, but I forgot. I might show y'all at school tomorrow. But um I am, as you can see, getting ready to film because I have content that's due tomorrow. And um, there's my cute husband. Hey, y'all. And um, I'm getting ready to record um, my comedy video. So for the week, I may do, I think I'm going to batch record and do two videos just because um, I got a lot going on. Um, but. Uh, and we're trying to stay ahead of the game. So I'm going to batch record um, two quick videos for Cody to do. Because the last few videos have been like more intricate type videos. So um, yeah, I'm going to do that. And yeah, I'm going to take y'all along this journey. So here's my boo thing. Hey y'all. Set up with the camera. This is where all the magic happens. Oh yeah. So I'm going to set this up for y'all so y'all can see me doing my thing. y'all we just finished tam recorded just that one video for now yeah we decided right. that we're gonna spend some time together so yeah it's been a long day so i'm gonna go take this video off of my handy dandy um sd card and then we're gonna spend time together right babe yeah okay See y'all later. Hi guys. Hello. So um, we got ready for bed, took our showers, did our nighttime routine, which one thing about me, ask Cody, I may not have a morning routine, but baby girl got a night routine. I may not be getting up, reading the scriptures and praying and doing yoga <laughs> and drinking coffee and, and doing affirmations. Um, but one thing about me, <laughs> where did, baby, where? because that's how everybody posts on social media. They get up. So my morning routine is, and they be making coffee and they be in a robe and then they record themselves writing in their journal. Then they record themselves. Doing like yoga. 10 push-ups. Yeah. I don't do all of that. Okay. <laughs> I roll out of bed. And put on and, and put on get clothes. get my kids ready for school. And it just be a lot going on. However, when it comes to my nighttime routine, tell them what I do back every night. First you use the bathroom because you got to use the bathroom. And then you go in there. After you use the bathroom and then you'll water pit, brush, mouthwash, all that jazz. And then you'll take a shower and you come out the shower and then you do the stuff to your face, whatever you're doing to clean your face. And then you put on whatever. I wash my face in the shower. Then I come out and put my toner in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then after that, you come out and you ready to go to bed. Every night. No. I cannot go to bed without washing my face. Brushing my teeth. Even if I don't shower, let's say I'm going to just shower in the morning, mm -hmm. I still wash my face and brush my teeth. I cannot. If I fall asleep accidentally or unintentionally and I wake up in the middle of the night, I will get out of the bed and go wash my face and brush my teeth because I yeah. feel gross. So. Facts. 
we did all of that, and mm-hmm. now we're getting ready to do this game our friend gave us called The Connecting Couples. Tonight's conversation is a card game. But we're doing this to have conversation, mm-hmm. pillow talk, and um, then we're going to bed. I'm exhausted. I left my hair out because I like for Cody to give me a head scalp massage. Let's see if he's going to do it. His hair is really much, it's giving. It's, it's it's giving fullness of joy. It's giving restoration. It's giving hallelujah to the most high. I'm done. All right, y'all. And Cody's hair is giving worship, Pastor. <laughs> it's giving Stephen Furtick. I feel like I'm losing it in the front. It's thinning a little bit, but it's okay. It's still got good length to it. It's still, you know. That's how they be doing it after they cut it. They be like this. And they be cutting the girl's hair and then they be like. All right. We just rambling, y'all. So we finna um, play this (laughs) card game and then we're going to go to bed. Right, babe? Yep. We're going to bed. Okay. So love y'all. Okay. So it's kind of rest hour right now. So I had my baby. Come here. I want him to walk me to get some water, but I brought him down here. To say hey to his daddy because he hadn't seen him all day. That's my baby. There's my baby. Yeah. How you feeling today, babe? I'm feeling so good. I'm being productive, getting stuff done. So. And that's good to hear. I feel good. Well, um, we just rescheduled a client, so we have a little bit more time on our hands today. My video for today is done, and I'm excited. So I am actually getting ready to go back in there with Anna. I'll take y'all down there with me. Now, here's my friend Susan. Let me show y'all. Susan, you want to say hey to the vlog? Vlog. You ain't on the camera yet. Now you're on the camera. Good old Susan. Susan is an amazing resource here at uh, Center Stage. And then there's my twin. Ten. My classroom. Try not to tr- show no children. They all on the floor. On they little. We got these little tiny trays that they work at. See those little tiny? That's where they sit at sometimes. Hey, y'all. Hey, so both the boys got E's again today. Carson yep. wanted a dinosaur book, so we came to the store called Ollie's that has a mm-hmm. lot of children's books in here for really expensive. Oh, Carson, what'd you find? Carson wants a dinosaur book. But me... There's mine. He wants that. Hold on, Carson. What'd you find, Bubby? Bubby Thank you. Ooh, what is that? Come here, Carson. So, yeah. We're just walking around the store now. All right, babe? Yep. Hey, y'all. So y'all can see we are kid-free at the moment. Um, we are um, headed to counseling. So I go to counseling. I try to go at least at least twice a month. Sometimes I go more than that. It just depends on what's going on in my schedule. Um, but Cody, sometimes I will ask him to come with me mm-hmm. um, because my therapist doesn't mind him coming to kind of be there as a support and also help us like process and break down some things. Um, as a couple um, and so yeah we are uh, gated there Cody's going to be in the session with me so he has a good report my therapist and uh, we've had to we've had many a times where we've had to break down situations and kind of go for what we know to get healing like we need to so yep a lot of it is emotional support though like 
him figuring out ways to handle me and the anxiety and the and all of the things um him being an emotional support for that um and our therapist has been able to help us uh with that coming up with uh the right language to use with one another mm -hmm. um especially with me dealing with um anxiety and now with cody having us officially knowing he has adhd i'm hoping she can give me some language to use with him so um anyway this will probably have to be uh multiple sessions because sometimes you know we'll talk yeah. about something but it can't all be discussed in one session so no. um so yeah we are headed there and then after that the plan is to come home and decorate for Christmas. And I'm probably gonna cook breakfast for dinner, so. It's gonna be dope. Of course, we're gonna take y'all along that journey and we'll probably end the vlog there. Um, but we just want to show y'all some fun stuff. Well, we will do that and then let me focus on driving and we'll see y'all when we get home, probably. Hey guys, we're about to decorate the Christmas tree. And Carson has a dinosaur. But look, there's the ornaments and the tree's still in the box. So we're about to put that up now, right boys? Yes. Yeah. Mommy's on her way. Yeah, that my She's dinosaur? in the restroom. And y'all will see us putting up the tree. Love you guys. Before we do that, Carson wants to give you a hug. Well, CJ, say what you just said. Like, subscribe, and share this video. All and right. Got a and Carson wants to give y'all a hug. I'll fix it. Okay. One thing I'm learning to do is to be present in the moment and not stress about things not going exactly how I want. It doesn't feel like it normally feels for me because I feel rushed. I feel like we're just coming together, but I need to live in this moment and take advantage of this time. I'm thinking about the fact that the boys are past their bedtime, but you know what? We're going to decorate. We're going to have a good time as a family. Yep. And we're going to enjoy ourselves. Ain't that right? Ain't, ain't that right, CJ? What about you, Cars? Ain't that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't finished it yet, but I I'm in the process of this, we're going to be also cooking dinner. So I'm doing something really quickly. Quick. It's late, but the boys are hungry and Cody's hungry. So we're getting set up for Christmas. And I'm excited. There's the Christmas tree. It's up. We got to fill it out and stuff, but yeah.
guys. So we switched into some Christmas outfits because we recorded some content for our Instagram page. And so, um, yeah, that would explain why we have on yeah. ugly Christmas sweaters. It's really dope. Um, yeah. Cody lost the shirt to go with the Christmas matching Christmas pajamas, which actually matches the theme for this year. But I'm going to order us some more for this year. And we'll take Christmas pictures in front of there oh. this year. But yeah. Um, yeah. So. Y'all y'all saw us decorating. That's what y'all just got finished watching. So. We are done. The boys are laying down. And we're about to go get ready to lay it down. So. We're supposed to record couch conversations today. But the way my, my back is hurting me so bad. I'm exhausted. Y'all probably hear the dryer. Is that the dryer? <laughs> it's time to go in the bed. It is. So. And we're actually going to end the vlog here, guys. Yeah, we are. I'm going to end it here. It's already been a pretty intense week. It has. Um, it really has. But I just want to say thank you to all of our followers, all of our subscribers, who have become a part of this family. Yep. Um, thank y'all for your love and support. Um, when we are brave enough to be vulnerable on this platform, you guys are supportive and loving and caring. Thank you for your prayers. And um, we just honor the fact that you all are um, truly supporting this page. Um, of course, you know, we got the haters, we got the naysayers, but for those of you who really stand by the Francis family, we appreciate you. We love Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And um, we're just glad that y'all here to grow with us. So with that being said, we're going to end tonight's vlog. All right, guys. We love you. Love you.